Hey guys, I'm Justin with OurSleepGuide.com. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to assemble a queen size Maloof frame. This is going to be your seven legged frame which is important because you're going to have seven points of contact to the ground. A lot of frames are only going to have four or five so obviously seven is going to be a little bit better for a more supportive uh, surface for your mattress. Um, as you can see I've already taken it out of the box and what we're going to have we have three main pieces here where you're going to have your center support and your two side pieces. How you're going to put on the legs uh, or your feet, um, you just very easily just pop these on. Um, sometimes I like to flip this over and just pound them down a little bit. Then we can open this up and the one thing about this is how you know you're going to be into a queen size, it's the furthest one out. So you have your queen here, your full here, and your twin size here. Um, so it's, it's very simple that way. Uh, and then we're going to do this other side. I already got these legs on here. Um, we're going to pull, pull these out. Drop that in. And if you watch how I connect this, you just find the, the little holes and there's pieces of steel, little knobs that pop out here and you just pull it tight, locks it in place. So you know we got that side completed. You line this up over here. <clears throat> I know you can't see it from that angle, um, but you can see that I have that in place. Sometimes to be able to square the frame up, what I like to do when I'm assembling these is sometimes I go all the way to the wall, nice and easy, and you'll just square it up because sometimes when you put it together it'll be shifted to the right or the left. And this just helps you square it up. So then we're going to be ready to stick one of the legs on. So this is one of your pedestal end legs that come in the middle. And you'll see when you have this frame nice and tight, uh, there's a hole right in the top and you're going to use this bolt where it goes through. And we just screw that in there. Uh, sometimes it takes a minute to kind of find those threads. But when you're going to do that, you just spin this leg to tighten it. Uh, you're not going to need a tool for this, and you can tighten this down nice and easy. Uh, same thing with this end piece here. You make sure this is tight across. You can line that up. You have a hole in there. You just pop that bolt in and just tighten that up and when you hand tighten it and you're actually using the, the leg you can just really wrench it down and make it nice and tight which is important now for the last piece you're going to have this center support bar and you just line it up line that up here's where you will need a tool now this Maloof piece, this is going to come from China, uh, so you're going to use the, the 10, uh, it's a metric system, so you're just going to use this wrench. Sometimes I would just suggest just using an adjustable wrench or crescent wrench, that might be easier for you. Um, you have this top bolt, you slide it in this hole here, very easy. There is going to be a nut and a washer on this bottom side, and we're just going to tighten that up. Just get it snug where it's hand tightened here and take your wrench and just tighten that up. You may not want to tighten it as tight as can be until you get the bolt through the other side. That way if you do need to just shift it or adjust it just a little bit, uh, it makes it easier. And then we're going to come back towards the end and we'll tighten everything down one final time. So you got that washer on the bottom side, you've got that nut, just thread it on, you can hear me tightening that, take your wrench, just tighten that baby down. I know some of them you don't have to use a wrench, you know, which can be convenient, but you know, I got to tell you, if, if you are using an actual uh, a, bolt in the nut to, to really get this nice and tight. 
it does help where the frame isn't going to have any shifting. Sometimes you'll have this where it's just floating on the inside, the center support beam. And, you know, throughout shifting your mattress or your frame, you're moving it around a room, sometimes they can shift and they'll, they'll start to bend because it's not in there as tight as it should be. Um, so I actually think, you know, it's a, a few extra steps and it takes a little bit more time. But in the long run, it's actually a, a, a benefit uh, to, to lock your frame in place and have it nice and tight. So there you have it. Uh, this is your Maloof seven-legged frame. Uh, this is the, the assembly portion for the queen size, and it's just as easy as that. So um, for other information, go to rsleepguide.com. Also go to this review page, and we can have a nice written review for you for this frame. Um, and then some places where you can click over and buy it. So thanks guys, have a great day.